And the next stage is called the ISAM stage. This subsequent stage, uh, phase of development is referred to as ISAM, which means bones. And the fetus does indeed acquire a, a cartilaginous skeleton after the mudga stage. Those of you that have studied embryology realize that first of all you have what we call mesenchymal bones made out of connective tissue, then they become cartilaginous, and then they become uh, ossified and become uh, bones, solid bones. The formation of the bone does not begin uniformly throughout the body. Rather, there is a sequen sequential appearance of bony tissue. In recent decades, the process of osteogenesis in the human embryo has been reasonably well documented. Bone development in the limb, limbs commences in the embryonic limb buds from these mesenchymal or connective tissue cells. Primary ossification centers appear in the femur during the fifth week, the femur is your thigh bone, uh, and in the sternum, it's breastbone, and the maxilla, jaw, during eight to nine weeks. The timing of the azam phase has been mentioned in the following hadith. These simply show these various stages when, at this stage, the bones in the limb would be cartilaginous. The same here, you're starting to get little uh, indications of the uh, bones uh, developing. And then this hadith says, when 42 nights have passed from the time of the nutva, that is the time of conception, Allah sends an angel to it who shapes it and makes its ears, eyes, skin, muscles, and bones. In the early phase, part of this phase, the embryo takes on a human appearance, Tazwir Adami, and the Hadith describes this with the word shapes. Before the 42nd day, it is difficult to, to distinguish the human embryo from the embryos of many animals, but at this stage it becomes clearly distinguishable in its appearance. Uh, I couldn't tell a mouse embryo from a human embryo or a rabbit embryo in those very early stages. So as this hadith is making clear is that after this uh, 40th day when uh, the angel uh, sends an angel to it with shapes and so on that it takes on its human characteristics. <laughs> Accompanying this development is a straightening of the embryo described by the word sawa. During this period, the embryo becomes more erect and acquires a more evenly rounded body. Some of the generalized cells of the embryo begin to 